Welcome to Organizational Purpose and Planning Part 2. My name is Scott Vaughn. I'm with Community Development Unit of Alberta Culture, Multiculturalism and Status of Women. Before I begin, I would like to mention that the goal of our board development video series is for board members of nonprofit organizations to have the basic knowledge, skills, and tools to be successful in their work. We realize that some of you are not board members, and that's fine. But we want you to be aware that the information, concepts, and ideas presented are from board member perspectives. Also, the information presented here is aimed at an introductory level or refresher for board members to ensure they have the base level understanding of board governance concepts and principles needed to successfully do their work. We do have other resources that we can share with you, such as our toolkit. There is a link in the description of this video to our toolkit that provides additional resources and links we think are helpful for you and your nonprofit organization as you tackle your governance issues. Included in this toolkit is a copy of the slides we use in this video and all the videos in our board development video series. You can also hit the subscribe button down below and turn to notification on to subscribe to your YouTube channel and get notification about our upcoming videos. The last thing I want to mention before we get going is that in this video, we are not providing advice. The information offered in this video and the related materials are not intended to constitute legal advice, the rendering of the legal concepts, consulting, or other professional services of any kind. We simply want to share with you information that we think will be helpful for board members as you navigate your organization through its governance and operations. By the end of this video, we hope you'll be able to explain what a strategic plan is and how it benefits organizations and boards, and also be able to identify the basic components of a strategic plan, explain each component, and, and how they support the work of the organization. So let's get going on organizational planning. So why is it important for an organization to plan and have a strategic plan? This is because board members are the governing body of a not-for-profit organization, have key roles and responsibilities related to being that governing body. In general, a strategic plan helps with the governance of the organization. However, there are a number of specific benefits to strategic planning as well. First, a strategic planning sets the future direction of an organization. Therefore, the process of strategic planning creates an opportunity for board members to discuss the big picture of the organization and share their perspectives and how they should achieve the purpose of the organization. A strategic plan is also a roadmap that guides the organization through the work that it needs to be done to achieve its purpose. A good strategic plan shows what success looks like for an, or, or an organization. Therefore, in times of rapid change, it can help board members, mentorship, staff, and volunteers of the organization to follow a consistent course of action. It also helps to know when changes are needed and ensures that everyone is working together towards the same goals. Having a strategic plan is also an important part of the organization's reputation among its stakeholders and in its community. A strategic plan requires work to develop, and once completed, it provides a documented plan that demonstrates that the board, volunteers, and staff are truly committed to the purpose of the organization. Therefore, a strategic plan can increase trust and confidence among stakeholders and funders that the organization has clear direction and commitment to see things through, which then could lead to additional support and funding, funding opportunities. Finally, a strategic plan can improve the way individuals in the organization work together because it gives them a common language and common goals. In a well-written plan developed together by board members, volunteers and staff, all parties can see their part in helping the organization move forward. This in turn, can help increase commitment to the organization. Now that we know what a strategic plan is and why organizations need one, let's discuss what should be included in a strategic plan. The basic components of a strategic plan are foundational statements, goals, strategies, action plan, and evaluation. Foundational statements. Foundational statements in a strategic plan include vision, mission, 
and value statements. The vision of an organization is a short phrase that is easy to communicate and describes the future aspirations of the organization. It is an ideal that the organization could achieve if it achieved total success. The vision statement is a snapshot of the ideal or preferred future. A vision statement is a key part of setting the direction of the organization. The vision statement answers this key question, how will the future be better as a result of the success of the organization? So here is a vision statement example. ABC Youth Leadership Society is an organization that focuses on youth and the development of youth leadership skills in the community. It's a fictional example. Their vision statement is this, youth gifts, creative spirit, leadership skills, and contributions are sought, demonstrated, and celebrated in the community. The vision statement is a snapshot of the ideal preferred future and aspirations of ABC Youth Leadership Society, how the future will be better resulting from the success of the organization, and also works as a guide to set the direction of the organization moving forward. So here's a test for your vision statement. Criteria for a good vision statement. Does it vibrate with a sense of the organization's purpose or mission? Does it bring life to what it will really look like and feel like to achieve the mission? Can you see it? Does it use words that create a clear, vivid picture in the mind's eye? Is it worth what it would take to create it? Is what people really want? Is it inspiring, filled with passion, intensity, and conviction? Does it motivate people to give their all? Are people willing to fully commit to it? Now, compared to the vision statement, which is a snapshot of the ideal future and aspirations of the organization, the mission statement is a description of the current purpose and business of the, organiza of the organization. This means that the mission clearly describes what the organization does and what its purpose is who it serves, and how it adds value to the community. Organizations with unclear or ineffective mission statements often have difficulty communicating their purpose. Asking these questions about a mission statement helps clarify the mission of an organization. Why does our organization exist? What would the world lose if we did not exist? What is the inherent value of our organization to others. Why is this important to me personally? Why do I care? What here is worth investing so much of my life and energy? Here's an example of a mission statement for the ABC Youth Leadership Society. The ABC Youth Leadership Society cultivates the strengths and abilities of youth in the community by providing leadership education, team development, as well as opportunities for personal growth. The mission of ABC Youth Leadership Society describes the purpose of the organization, and that is including what the organization does, who it serves, and how it adds value to the community. So let's take a look at a test for your mission statement. It distinguishes the organization from others in its sector. It attracts the attention of people in and outside of the organization. It provides a unifying focal point for stakeholders and generating a sense of shared commitment. It is clear, and it also evaluates activities and sets priorities for investment of resources. Value statements are the third part of foundational statements. They are fundamental ethical beliefs and principles of the organization that guides the actions, judgments, behaviors, and decision-making of the members of the organization. This includes the values and standards that determine how the board, members, staff, volunteers, and other stakeholders behave and treat each other. Organizations that have well-written value statements and use them to guide their activities and behaviors create and support an ethical culture within the organization and gain a reputation for honesty, integrity, and principled behavior. Value statements are the third part of foundational statements. 
They are fundamental ethical beliefs and principles of the organization that guide the actions, judgments, behaviors, and decision-making of the members of the organization. This includes the values and standards that determine how the board, members, staff, volunteers, and other stakeholders behave and treat each other. Organizations that have well-written value statements and use them to guide their activities and behaviors create and support an ethical culture within the organization and gain reputation for honesty, integrity, and principled behavior. So here's an example of value statement for our ABC Youth Leadership Society. All youth have leadership abilities. We believe that all youth have leadership abilities inherently with themselves. Compassion. We care deeply for youth in the community and we demonstrate that in passion in everything we do. Diversity. We embrace the differences of all youth we serve with an inclusive nature and diverse staff. Perseverance. We commit to building the leadership skills of all youth regardless of circumstance to overcome challenges and achieve success. Collaboration. We rely on and highly value our staff, communities, supporters, funders, and partners to help shape the success of our youth. So these values are the fundamental ethical beliefs and principles that guide all the activities and behaviors of the board members, staff, and volunteers of the ABC Youth Leadership Society in the example. The next piece in a strategic plan is the goals of the organization. Goals describe the aims and the specific results that the organization wants to achieve in order to move closer to its vision. Goals show the key areas that the organization focuses on over a set period of time, and they help the organization focus their efforts, resources, and time appropriately. This means that all programs, services, resources, and work efforts should be aligned to achieve the goals of the organization. Here is a list of all the specific goals of the ABC Youth Leadership Society. ABC Youth Leadership Society youth are active members of community organizations. ABC Youth Leadership Society programs and services support youth leadership in the community. ABC Youth Leadership Society is recognized for its excellence in supporting youth leadership in the community. And finally, the society is a well-governed and fiscally responsible organization. These goals identify the key areas that the organization focuses on for the next two years. These goals, in fact, the results of the organization wants to achieve during that time. After the organization had determined its goals, it needs to set strategies for achieving each goal. Strategies are a set of strategic actions that the organization should take to achieve a specific goal. So let's take a look at this from ABC Youth Leadership Society example. The first goal of the ABC Youth Leadership Society was the following. ABC Youth Leadership Society youth are active members of the community. In order to achieve this goal, here is a set of strategies that the ABC Youth Leadership Society has developed towards achieving this goal. Advocate for youth membership in community organizations and for youth to serve on community boards, another strategy. Educate youth on board governance. And finally, a third, develop a practicum program for youth to gain experience working on community boards. These are a set of strategies that the organization is going to embark on to achieve the first goal. Now the organization needs to determine a set of strategies for each of the other goals as well. After identifying strategies for each goal, the organization needs to define an action plan. The action plan lists all the specific activities or tasks that the organization do, should do for each goal. These activities should align with a set of strategies that were determined for that respective goal. The action plan also specifically mentioned who is responsible for each action, when those actions should happen, and what resources are necessary to do them, whether those resources are human, financial, or other sources in nature. So here is an, ex uh, an example of an action plan for ABC Youth Leadership Society. The action plan lists each goal and its related set of strategies. 
In the next column, a number of actions are identified for the goal. The actions should align with a set of strategies for the goal. The rest of the column detail who does the action, when they do the action, and what resources are necessary or likely required. For example, the first goal of the society is that ABC Youth Leadership Society youth are active members of community organizations. One of the strategies of this goal is to educate youth on board governance. One of the actions in the action plan is that the society hosts a board development program workshop that is offered by the community development unit of the government of Alberta. The workshop will be an opportunity for the youth in their community to receive board governance training and develop the necessary skills to be effective board members. This specific task is organized by the Youth Society Coordinator and the Community Development Unit. The Society wants to have the workshop sometime before the end of June, and they expect it to cost the organization $250 for renting a facility and the cost of food and staff. Evaluation. The final component of a strategic plan is evaluation for the organization to evaluate their work. To do so, the evaluation should have targets that can be measured, and those targets should show what it means for the organization to accomplish its goals. The evaluation usually lists a number of targets that show how the organization measures its plan, how the organization determines it has been successful, and how it monitors the progress of the work. The evaluation should include objectives, indicators, and performance measures. Objectives are specific, quantifiable, realistic targets that measure the accomplishment of a goal over a specific period of time. Indicators are descriptions of situations or behaviors that prove the organization is making progress towards its goals. And finally, performance measures are the data that the organization collects to measure its success in achieving the goals. So how does this look like from ABC Youth Leadership Society? This evaluation is for the first goal, which was ABC Youth Leadership Society youth are active members of community organizations. So let's evaluate that goal. The objective is that at least 75% of youth registered in ABC Youth Leadership Society are active members of community organizations by December 2021. Currently, only 25% meet this objective. The indicators are the following. ABC youth are becoming members of community organizations and they're looking for other ways to be involved in the activities of the community organizations. Community organizations are connecting with and recruiting ABC youth to be active members in their organizations. Community organization strategic plans include strategies to attain ABC youth membership. These are all indicators. And finally, performance measures. The number of ABC youth that are actively involved in community organizations is one measure, and the percentage increase in the number of ABC youth that are actively involved in community organizations from the baseline. Remember that baseline, um, there was only 25% at where currently now, we're hoping they want to re reach that 75% that was in the first objective. Now it's all tied in a performance measure. This is a sample of an evaluation plan for the first goal of ABC Youth Leadership Society. The organization may also have additional objectives with corresponding indicators and performance measures. The Strategic Planning Workbook. The Strategic Planning Workbook will help you facilitate the components of a strategic plan. Uh, it, inside it, you will be able to um, facilitate the development of your own foundational statements, goals, strategies, and action plan. See the link in the toolkit uh, to be able to access the strategic planning for our community organizations workbook. In summary, for these two videos on organizational purpose and planning, the key point to keep in mind is that governance and the role of the board underpins everything. And the board is the authority in the organization that has responsibility for that. With that, one of the key roles of board members is to define and advance the organizational purpose or its foundational statements. 
And one of their key responsibilities is organizational purpose and planning, which is all about advancing the mission of the organization or setting the direction of the organization. Basically, creating a plan explains how the organization will get to where it wants to go. And one of the ways or tools that many organizations use for organizational planning is strategic planning. That brings us to the end of our video on organizational purpose and planning, part two. Thank you for watching. Our contact information is on the slide and they are in the toolkit as well. If you are in Alberta and you have a question or you need further information or would like to request services, you can contact us through email and phone. You can also access our website to know more about our resources and services. And also, if you want to be informed of our future services and resources, you could add your email to our subscription form and you will receive information about our services and resources as they become available. The link to the subscription form is in the description of the video as well. Thank you for your attention. Take care, stay healthy, and always remember that our communities have so much more because of everything you do. Thank you all and bye for now.